day in Amsterdam, for the eighth time, the winners of the European Inventor Award were announced in the presence of Princess Beatrix. Each year, the ceremony honors outstanding inventors from all over the world with the Oscar of Technology. The prizes are awarded by the European Patent Office to inventors who have made a significant contribution to social, economic, and technological progress. It is quite difficult uh, to explain what innovation is really about and how it functions. What is the relationship between an invention, a patent, and society. And therefore we have chosen 15 concrete examples, probably the best worldwide, to demonstrate how innovation functions on the basis of concrete examples. This year's finalists covered fields as diverse as medicine, furniture, and display technology. A total of 15 engineers and scientists were nominated in five separate categories, as well as being eligible for the popular prize. The international ceremony played host to a veritable who's who of prominent figures from the worlds of science, politics, and high society. Alongside Princess Beatrix, EU Commissioner Michel Bernier, and the President of the European Patent Office, Benoit Battistelli, were also in attendance. Among the proud winners of the Oscar of Technology was the French Patrick Couvreur. With his invention, the nanotechnology pioneer has given new hope for cancer treatment that does not harm healthy tissue. I am, of course, uh, very happy, not only personally for me, but especially for my research group, which is composed of young students who are doing either a PhD or a postdoc. So it's really a very important recognition. The Swedish researcher Paul Nuren has, together with his team, discovered a new, faster way of decoding DNA. His methods have opened up exciting new possibilities for targeted, personalized medicine. Just one award. Uh, it has been a big recognition, and uh, not only my friends are calling me, but the press and the interviews and filming and such things. Uh, this has been a really good thing, the European Event Award. And gentlemen, In the Lifetime Achievement and category, the award went to Switzerland's Martin Schatt, the inventor of LCD technology. In the past year alone, more than 40 million LCD displays have been produced. This award means a great deal to me. It's a great honor and a huge surprise. I never thought that I could be a winner, especially because all the other winners have carried out such fantastic work. The next European Inventor Award will take place in Berlin in 2014.